Good evening, it's Kuro. Got a ranked game in my Haida. Going over the matchmaking, the enemy team has a Nelson, Sharnhorse, Sinop, York, Miyoko, Devonshire, and Akatsuki. This map is, or this match is particularly difficult because the number of battleships and the few amount of destroyers. Typically in a Haida, you're going to want to face a lot of destroyers. This, this ship is a destroyer killing machine. Um, so gonna start off the map it's fault line um, haven't really played this map in a very long time but it is a map that I do have a lot of experience on with competitive back in the supremacy league days um, so I am familiar with it and I'm gonna start this out with some general lessons plans about uh, you know just how I approach this map I'm in a very good destroyer killer it's 1DD matchmaking, it's a domination battle. If I'm able to cripple or assassinate the enemy DD, our chance of winning this game has gone up dramatically, especially if I'm able to survive while doing it. So right out of the gate, I'm, I'm not going to beat around the bush. I want to take a position where I'm going to be able to react wherever the enemy DD goes. And I'm going to do that by going to B. I don't need RPF with a ship that excel, uh, that is particularly good at killing destroyers. And that's just because I'm going to go where I want to go. And the enemy DD had better be out of my way or they're going to have a problem. And so I'm just pushing up here to B cap looking to get some early spots for my team. Uh, sometimes you're able to catch ships. Uh, broadside for your team to break shots over these islands where uh, they might be able to get shots off on detect you can see all these shots coming in at this York because this guy's trying to, to do a turnout right here playing it pretty safe popping uh, uh, hydro here Akatsuki does have a fairly fast torpedo reload uh, and potentially there could be torpedoes in the water now note here um i'm actually in this position i'm looking to push a destroyer and kill it with the exception of we have a cruiser for some reason trying to rush the middle and that's part of the reason why i don't like to to hug the islands you miss these type of opportunities when a a cruiser tries to rush an island in the middle of the map uh, don't just come right up here to a uh, to an, and hug this island because you're you're probably going to miss something like a cruiser pushing in here if this cruiser gets in here with his hydro now all of a sudden the rules are reversed I've got problems now you can see I'm looking for the enemy DD so I'm just rotating over to sea cap now gonna need to talk to you I'm gonna need to pause it here because there's a lot going on here and gonna show you some some Haida magic. I, I call it Haida magic, but it, it basically any ship with like a creeping smoke screen like this, um, like Haida has, you can utilize this. And there's vision mechanics in the game that enable you to step just outside of your smoke, and you have a fraction of a second where you can shoot. You can spot, you can do all of this stuff and remain undetected because I guess the server lag just doesn't pick up the fact that you should be detected before your smoke your smoke screen envelops you. It requires a lot of timing and uh, you're going to kind of see that, um, how I'm going to do it. I'm not going to break my, I'll, I, I will shoot outside of the, uh, my smoke, but it's only going to be a very, very short period of time. Uh, because I don't want the server spotting me if the server spots me even if I go into smoke I'm spotted for a full two seconds, which gives these guys a two-second window to get a shot off at me So watch as I I play with my throttle during this engagement and and just kind of farm out this enemy DD uh, While trying to remain undetected as much as possible um, So I'm getting ready to start pushing now. 
You can see I take that shot outside of the smoke. My ship's all very strong while this smoke is up right now, so I got all sorts of stuff that I can do. Again, shooting outside the smoke. J just spotting this synop, just creeping forward. I'm seeing if I can spot this DD. If not, gonna spot the synop, get a shot off. Synop shot, he's gonna be detected for a bit. Still just gonna creep around up here, see if I can pick this DD up. Got another minute on the smoke with my build. Now, Hyda really struggles against heavier ships, so a Synop is probably one of the worst targets on the enemy team for me to be shooting at. But this is what I'm looking for, and boom. can see the Akatsuki smoke wearing off here so I'm just staying a little bit outside of my smoke I want to dodge those torps but I want to make sure that I'm able to maintain vision on this Akatsuki as long as possible and we're able to to cripple the Akatsuki in fairly short order with some help from my team but at this point I've got five seconds of smoke left and the weakness of Hyda, just like you're extremely strong when you have your smoke and hydro and all of your consumables handy in those sorts of engagements, this is when my ship's at the most vulnerable. So I'm going to play chill. I've just pushed off the Akatsuki. I know I outspot him, so if he tries to rush me in the cap, he's probably going to die to my Fiji. But I'm just going to chill here, going to take the cap. My team will have three caps, and there's not really a lot that the enemy team can do about it outside of maybe rush me with a battleship or something like that. So we've got this Nelson coming up. Now, predictive torping here. The battleships are unlikely to, to push all the way down there where the Shornhorst is, just because, uh, especially because the Shornhorst is there. So, just dropping my torps, expecting this battleship to stop off the point of that island. For some reason, a lot of battleships like the bow tank there. And I'm just going to kite out. Gonna actually going to start turning back in because I do have six seconds till my smoke's active. And it's looking like these torpedoes are going to be in the ballpark. I think there was some RNG with the, the first torpedo because I wanted to have one right off the island, but they're all four stacked up, and for once, Torp RNG is working in my favor. And I'm just pushing in here, and all I'm looking to do is kill this Akatsuki. They need a cap. They need to do something. I'm playing aggressive. I've got space here with the way the enemy team is, and boom, I catch him exactly where I thought he would be. I wait till he turns out a bit, break my shot, and then I'm gonna start smoking up here. But this Akatsuki is done, so. And there's just not a lot of counterplay for like for a DD against a Haida like this. The the alpha on the guns is just so good. Um, you know, you gotta. You gotta try to catch this ship when it smokes down, when it's when it's really vulnerable. Either that or play where you've got a lot of close support from things like this Miyoko. If I'd be visible to this Miyoko even for a couple seconds and he's able to get a shot off, he could chop off half or more of my HP in a single volley. Uh, so there are some limitations with this ship. Uh, there are some ways that you can you can defeat it. Uh, one of the ways being, you know, just rushing this thing with a battleship. Uh, the torps are, you know, they hit fairly hard, but you only have four of them. They don't have the best reload in the world. And, uh, you know, it, it can be, it can be a real uh, pain in the butt 
to deal with a battleship that is is just going to push you to push you around the map now in this case I've got a bunch of support back here we've got a crossfire this game's obviously a win and if you're wondering uh, why I'm getting so many pins on the Miyoko I'm running uh, IFHE on the captain the fire chance on these guns is is trash anyway and with the uh, with the alpha on the guns I, w I just want to try to maximize the amount of pen damage that I get with the guns and they will penetrate most cruiser plating so you know what's more impactful than a ship like this that can shoot up you know destroyers and also cruisers and you know I'm just gonna need some help with battleships or you know maybe get lucky with some torpedoes that kind of thing but a ship can't be strong to everything so at this point um, this game's just gonna end out on on points uh, the enemy teams just at this point they have no no possible way to push this and uh, you know cap control wins the game so Haida is still one of the best best premium destroyers at tier 7 if you can get your hands on this ship um, I would do it even even just from the rank standpoint uh, if we ever have competitive at tier 7 this ship will be an amazing scout uh, it, it's it's gonna be just like Cossack at tier 8 uh, with the exception the smokes gonna work a little bit differently but uh, I, I love the ship it's it's strong but it's strong in ways that it, it has clear limitations um, and it, it and that makes it specifically not overpowered like some of some of the other premiums that have been released in the game anyway I figured uh, it's been a while since I've done a Haida game uh, especially one really showing some of the the tricks you can use with the smoke uh, hope you guys enjoyed this game. If you have any questions or comments, leave them below. As always, the uh, link for the build that I use will be in the video description, as will invites to the community Discord. And if you get something out of these videos, consider joining my Patreon. Uh, the link will be in the description for all of it. Hope you guys are having a good night, and I will talk to you later.